So today I'm going to be changing the uh, battery out on this GoPro remote. I've gotten quite used to it um, for taking uh, snapshots as well as video. Uh, having a remote is pretty handy. Uh, unfortunately, it won't hold a charge. So I've uh, ordered a battery for it. And I've got that right here. And uh, we're going to be putting that in. Not very difficult. Uh, 1.5 millimeter hex driver bit is the first thing we'll need. And of course, I've got a Momonga screwdriver to do that. But what we'll do is get these four screws out of the back. Let's see what we got. It's nice to have a seal. And uh, you can see the, there are four very, very fine Phillips screws holding that circuit on. What you'll find, uh, the circuit board is attached to the case a very fine connector. Uh, you can see this right here. Um, the uh, wiring will actually slide right out. It's fairly easy to get the circuit board disconnected. Now the battery is glued on, which makes it a little bit of a pain. Um, I've got a uh, little dropper bottle here that has a little bit of a denatured alcohol. And uh, what I'll do with that so I've got some in there, and I'll put a fine blade screwdriver to pull that battery off. Hopefully, not do too much damage. And um, there's still some residue on the uh, on the board itself. Uh, this battery is a little bit mangled, but um, what I'm going to do is stick this back on the board in the same direction where the batteries are, where the wires on the batteries are, so that uh, we'll have uh, this position once we remove the uh, solder points here. Once we remove those wires with the uh, soldering iron, I'll then uh, go ahead and put the new ones on. I'm going to cut these wires just a bit. I don't want a lot of overhang. Um, I should be able to cut and strip them. They're a solid cord. They're very fine. Probably 26 gauge. But uh, if we cut them just so, we should be able to very easily skin these. I'm going to tin these just to, so that they'll stick on the uh, on the board a little easier tin and them should take too much this is flux cord wire and you want to use the flux cord wire because uh, it'll clean the uh, connection as you apply some solder to it all right so I've cut those wires now I'm going to solder them in place very carefully. Uh, the order was red. Yellow or white is the original wire, but uh, in black. So let's get those positioned so we can solder them in place. Um, black's going to go on the outside. And that should do it for those three wires. Make sure everything looks good, which it does. There's a little indentation on the side. The wires uh, fit nicely in the indentation, so they should fit uh, pretty well into the case. Battery has kind of reattached itself, you could say, because of uh, the uh, residual glue that was on there. So now we need to get this connector back in here. And basically at this point it's just a reverse process of reassembling it. So get that pushed on in there.
I'm assuming, I think that's enough. But we'll uh, place this back in the case and put the three mountain screws. There okay. are three mountain screws, one here and two on each corner there. So I'm going to go ahead and get that started using the uh, jeweler screwdriver that I had. The easiest way to get the O-ring back on is to uh, set it in place here and uh, make sure it doesn't obstruct the uh, screw holes. There we go. It, it does go in one direction. You notice I was having some difficulty with it. Flipped it around and it went right. So I've had this on the charger overnight. Uh, hopefully everything's fine. I believe it is. I'm going to go ahead and hit the uh, on off button. And there we go. Got a fully charged battery. And it's looking for the GoPro right now. So I would call that a success. We've replaced the battery on this remote and um, I will be using it to make more videos. Thank you for watching.